Good day, everyone. In this video, we are going to continue the discussion on tongue diagnosis. In the previous video, we have given you the general introduction on how to perform the tongue inspection as well as the cautionary notes when performing tongue, diagnosis, tongue inspection. On this video, we're going to talk about, talk about the tongue body and the coating. Same as the inspection on uh, the the, se the inspection sessions, we from the lectures we're going to focus on the images. We're going to show you some clinical images and for the notes for the descriptions. You can go through the notes and the textbooks. What do these signs mean in clinics? So the firstly the normal town we have said that uh, it described as a light red, light red tongue with a soft white coating. So that's how does it look like is this section, the front part of the tongue, or this color with this coating, the combination of these two. So if you don't see at the back, you only see the front part, that's a normal tongue, or a, a healthy tongue, a healthy person should present with this kind of manifestation. Uh, I didn't mention in the previous slides, I just realized that there's one cautionary note that I didn't mention there is the tongue. People here, especially in the local people, you guys, sometimes the people from here, you brush your tongue. So you also need to be careful that sometimes the patient can present with some coating, but if they brush their tongue, that doesn't count. So if you see a tongue, a thumb tongue, a thumb coating, and then you think that it might be contrary to the other symptoms or signs, it is worthy to ask the patient. If you brush your tongue in the morning. The reason why I mentioned it here is because because in I was I was born and breed in China and before I came to South Africa I never know that people brush their tongue. Because as long as you are healthy, you do not need to brush your tongue and your tongue will be as clean as the front part of this person. If your internal organs is not healthy enough, no matter how hard you brush the, the coating, the coating is coming back in a few hours. So since the people from here, the local people, you brush your tongue, you need to be careful. And uh, if, if it is possible for follow-up consultation, you can ask the patient to not brush their tongue in the morning of that day. So from the and the next from the tongue we're going to discuss about the color, the color of the tongue. The color of the tongue, especially from the indications, if this is very similar to the indications from the facial complexion. So the sentences I ask you to remember in a facial complexion, you still can apply here. You still remember that what the red color refers to, what the pale or white color refers to, what the bluish or purple or cyan color refers to. So if you don't remember, you can go back to your textbooks. Remember those five sentences that can help you to to help help you to remember the tongue inspection, the indications from the tongue inspection a lot. So firstly, we're going to in introduce a light red tongue. The tongue body is light red, bright and moist. So that's a healthy tongue. The color, bright and moist. So it's not dry. That's the manifestation from here. This can indicate that the mild situation of the medical condition. So if the patient is not healthy, 
the disease is mild, or it can be a healthy person with abundance or sufficient hot blood, stomach qi. So the in a just in a healthy person in general, abundance of qi and blood, Fla flourishing qi and spleen stomach. So no matter how you describe. It just means a healthy person with healthy organs, especially qi and blood and heart. In a sick condition, in a patient, the medical is not affecting the qi, blood or internal organs, which means it is in a very mild situation. So that's the light red. When you observe this town, you will see the color. Firstly, so from this image, we don't see the roots. We, we don't talk about the roots because the root is not healthy. But we only talk about the front and the middle. The front part, the, the color is light red on the side, also light red. The coating, some white coating. So this is a healthy tongue. But when, again, when you observe a patient presents with this tongue, although you see the tip and the middle of the tongue and the side of the tongue is quite healthy, but at the back of the tongue, you can see the, the coating there. That means that in the kidney or the lower jaw, there's, there's something wrong in the patient. Pale white tongue. The pale white tongue appears more whitish, so you can see like white color from the tongue. Less red, withered, pale white, dry. It can be dry or moist. It depends on the situation. What a pale tongue indicates a cold condition. Why is the cold condition or deficiency? Which deficiency is a yang deficiency? Yang deficiency, qi deficiency, blood deficiency, all can result in white pale tongue. The reason is yang deficiency will cause in internal coldness. So that's the cold syndrome. And firstly, we begin to mention why the patient will present with pale tongue. Why the tongue is pale? So the pale tongue indicates the poor blood circulation. Right? Why is it pale and why the other tongue is pink or light red or even red? That's the blood color. The red is the blood color. If they don't have enough blood to the tongue, the tongue will present with pale. If there's a lot of blood in the tongue, the tongue will be red or deep red. So firstly, you will see that the patient presents with lack of blood in the tongue. That's a blood deficiency. Blood deficiency also linked with the qi deficiency. It can be linked. And the cold condition, why it is cold condition? Because the cold condition will slow down everything. So that's again with the pathogenesis. The pathogens, as we discussed in the basic theory. So when you see this kind of tongue, firstly, you can reflect. In your mind that the patient must suffer from coldness. What kind of coldness? It can be the coldness from exogenous factors. Also, it can be the coldness from internally. So that's the clinical significance. This is how you remember the clinical indications. As you can see from your textbooks, there are a lot of indications under one session, such as pale tongue, and in future we have the different indications under different coating. How do you remember all these indications? That's the, the, the hint. How to remember them is from the, the cause. You need to think about what's the cause of the pale color. And then you can conclude to the coldness, and then you think again what the coldness can what can result in coldness? Either exogenous pathogens or internal 
coldness and the qi blood deficiency also can result in pale or in white color. A pale tongue indicates deficiency or cold, so that's something you need to remember. Deficiency or cold. And then for deficiency, you can think about which what deficiency. Cold, you can think about exogenous coldness or at internal coldness. Internal coldness is the five the five evils. Here I want to mention the one discussion. Some discussions you can go through by yourself. A patient presents with qi deficiency and blood deficiency may present with pale and dry tongue. The tongue body is smaller than normal. Why the, the tongue body will be smaller than normal? That's because the blood deficiency. Blood is in in deficiency, which means the body don't have enough in. So the, the tongue body will be smaller. In the physical body, a patient suffers from indeficiency. How what's the appearance we introduce in the inspection? That's a skinny patient, very slim the patient. Patient present with yang deficiency, present with pale and moist tongue, enlarged and tender with teeth mark. Why the tongue body will be enlarged? The enlarged tongue body we're going to introduce in future as well. It means the tongue become bigger. Why be, why the tongue body is enlarged? For this, you need to think about the the function of the qi. The qi has the function of confining. So if the patient presents with the qi deficiency, so the qi is supposed supposed to control the tongue to be in this shape. But now the qi lose the function of confining, so they don't have force to control the tongue. That's why the tongue become bigger. That's enlarged tongue. So that's the qi deficiency. It also can be qi deficiency in results in water retention. So we're going to introduce, uh, discuss more in detail in the session of enlarged tongue. So that's how you see for these are first a few pictures. We will discuss more in details. That's how to, I want to show you how to explain with the theories. You how to use the theories to explain the clinical signs, clinical manifestations. And if you understand these theories, it will, it will be very easy for you to remember. Otherwise, you're going to mix them because there's a lot of information. A red or deep red tongue. Firstly, the characteristics. The tongue appears deeper than normal. So here is the two images of the red tongue. You can compare with the previous slide. The previous slides, the pale, the light red tongue. This red is deeper, and a deep red tongue you can compare with the slides in the next, the image in the next slides. I have shown you the deep, a deep red tongue. The red tongue indicates the heat. Again, so these are all the same, no matter the, the red color in the tongue or in the face. The heat can be exterior heat, interior heat, excess heat, or deficiency heat. So, firstly, when you see the red tongue, you need to think about the heat. The red the tongue color, the more severe the heat. So that's the red tongue, the red color. Again, when we use different when we, when we use different locations of the tongue. I said that the tip of the tongue is the the tip of the tongue is the heart and lung. The middle of the tongue is the spleen and stomach, middle jaw. The root of the tongue is the lower jaw. So if a patient presents with the 
the redness in the only in the tip. This can indicate the heart fire. If the patient presents with the redness in the tip and the middle part of the tongue, it can indicate the heart and the stomach fire. So that's the heat. Especially if the patient presents with the ulcer on the tongue in different areas. Why sometimes, sometimes the patient has ulcers on the side of the tongue? Why sometimes on top of the tongue? Sometimes at the tip of the tongue. This indicates different internal organs. So when we see this kind of patients, according to the location, we're also going to focus on different organs. So the, with the same mouth ulcers patient, we will use different treatments according to different symptoms. If the redness presents on the side, on the both sides of the tongue, it can indicate the heat in the liver. Deep red tongue, these two images show you the, the color of a deep red. The deep red tongue also indicates the heat. And when you compare with, with these two images, the color looks diff, uh, similar, but you see the moist, moist, uh, this tongue is, more, is moist, uh, but this tongue is kind of dry. So that's the, can indicates the body fluid, the situation of the body fluid. And the coating, the coating we're going to discuss in the later slides. So the coating you can just keep in mind that's when you see this kind of tongue, you also need to see the coating as well. What does this coating mean? Why? What does this coating mean? Why this, this one, there's no coating there. Why this one have the white coating on top? Which one is healthy? Which one is better? So this after the session of the coating, you can understand. The bluish or purple tongue. The tongue is blue, bluish or purple. The bluish color can present with the whole tongue. It also can be part of the tongue or some blue spots. These two images are from the patient in the clinic. The, the first patient, this one, is a patient presents with infertility and dysmenorrhea. So this patient has painful menstruation and infertilities. Firstly, when you see from the tongue, what can you see from there? The tongue color is pale. And also there's dark spots, many dark spots on the sides, on the sides. And the tongue color is pale. This image, this, this picture I took two weeks ago, this lady came to me with the amenorrhea. So she suffered from amenorrhea for a few months. So her menstruation her period didn't come for two months. And then when I see the tongue, see the color of the tongue, when you see it's still red, it's still considered as red, but this is purple or bluish. When you use, when you compare with the other images in the other slides, when you compare, you'll be more obvious why this, this color is considered red with purple. So from this image, from this kind of manifestations, you will know that the circulation in the body is not good. Then you compare with the symptoms of menorrhea, lack of the circulation. So for this, they did treatments. I use herbal medicine to activate the blood circulation and the period it comes in three days. So how do you know the cause of the of the patient of the um, amenorrhea of this patient as from the tongue? Because the tongue presents with purple. The purple can indicate 
the objective circulation of qi and blood, which means poor qi and blood circulation, or retention of stagnant blood, the blood stasis, no matter what kinds of the what kinds of causes it is related to the blood stasis, it's related to the poor circulation. So in the treatment, we will focus on activating the blood. So that's that's how to observe the pump. And also, as you can see now, we will combine many different kinds of manifestations together, such as the, the white coating, the, the, the white pale tongue, the white color. And now the combination of white for this patient, the combination of the white color and the purple, which indicates here. So the white color and the purple indicates firstly from the white. The white color indicates the cold condition of the of the patient. The purple indicates the standard blood or poor blood circulation, uh, poor blood circulation. So when you see a patient present with this kind of tongue, in the three months you need to improve the coldness. So in, you're going to assist how to relieve the coldness in the body. You're also going to activate the blood circulation. So that's how how to apply the theories in practice. Dry, purple, deep red tongue indicates excess heat and the inch blood. So no matter where they are, it is heat. And here, from this three image, I'm also going to show you three different kinds of purple. This one, so the purple color can present the whole tongue. It also can present its parts of the tongue. The whole, this tongue, in the middle, the one, the whole tongue become purple. Also, you can see some spots on the sides. So that's the blood circulation. This tongue, pale, teeth mark on the side, purple on the tip. Where's the tip? The heart and the lung. So for this situation, you can think about is the patient, patient have the heart problem or lung problem? It, it's not hundred percent, it not has to be but just give you a reference. This time, on the right side, this time have teeth mark on the side. Purple color here, and when you compare with the colors of the three tongue, the colors are all different. So that's all also can indicate the different condition of the tongue, of the uh, different conditions of the person. So compare with these three, the one on the right side is slightly better than these two. The reason is the color slightly, still pale, but slightly red or slightly redder than these two. So these two, purple and pale, which means poor circulation and uh, Coldness. Letters contributing to bluish tongue. So this you can go through by, by yourself. Traumatic. Traumatic injury can damage blood and cause bleeding, but the tongue color may be normal. So that's how how to this differentiates from traumatic injury or the body condition. So all above is a introduction of the tongue color. From this inspection, we're going to see the muscular structure of the tongue. We're going to differentiate the colors of the tongue. So when that's the first thing when we perform the tongue inspection. There's something you need to keep in mind. What's the color? What's the indications? And how to remember all these different indications? 
the same as the, the indications of different colors from the facial complexion. So just in a few words, or briefly speaking, the pale tongue, the pale, the, the light red color, the light red color indicates the mild medical condition or a healthy condition. The pale white color indicates the qi and blood deficiency, indicate the yang deficiency. If the white pale tongue with the dryness can indicate the body fluid deficiency as well. The red tongue, the matter the red tongue or a deep red tongue indicates the heat. The heat can be excessive heat or deficiency heat. So deficiency heat is from indeficiency. The, the translation can be deficiency heat or hyperactive yang. That's the deficiency heat. They're the same stuff. Mm. The purple tongue or the bluish tongue can indicate the stagnation, the qi and blood stagnation. So that indicates the poor circulation. The red tongue and the deep red tongue, they're all in the category of redness, which means they're all related to heat. The reason why we need to separate the, the, the red and the deep red is because the different color, the red and deep red, can indicate how severe the heat in the body. So a deep or a deeper red color can indicate more severe heat in the body. So that's the brief summary of the tongue colors. In the next video, we're going to talk about the tongue shape. Thank you, guys.